President Uhuru Kenyatta says the country is now in a position to deal with the emerging digital and advanced crimes bedeviling the country in the wake of modern technology progression. Speaking when he commissioned the National Forensic Laboratory at the Directorate of Criminal Investigation Headquarters, the head of state noted that criminals and their networks are using advancements in technology to perpetrate crime. And as Kamche Meza reports, the president termed the laboratory a milestone, saying government will use the facility to solve complex crimes. Here's that report. After close to two decades of actualizing the dream of a national forensic laboratory that will assist security personnel in handling advanced crimes, finally, the dream has come to fruition. On Monday, President Uhuru Kenyatta commissioned the facility at the Directorate of Criminal Investigation Headquarters. Our shared commitment to unraveling capital offenses such as murder and robbery with violence and combating emerging and transnational organized crimes such as terrorism, drug trafficking, illicit arms trade, counterfeiting, smuggling and offenses against wildlife also gets a monumental boost today. President Kenyatta highlighting the digital challenges faced by entrepreneurs in the wake of new digital crimes that have seen Kenyans duped. As we aspire for a Kenyan where every citizen, enterprise and organization has digital access and the capacity to participate and thrive in the digital economy, a new wave of crime is equally emerging that involves such things as swim swapping and the typical Tumakwahi number syndicate, all of which we must deal with properly. The effort personally, even of supervising this, I mean, uh, I mean, the construction, equipping, and everything, myself having been even involved in uh, several visits here to ensure that we give Kenyans exactly what we have intended for them to have for better services as far as crime uh, management is concerned in the country. The lab is equipped with latest analytical technology that will revolutionize investigative techniques based on evidence resulting in safer and timely justice to Kenyans. As a supplementary dividend, it will also protect our police officers from unfounded allegations that have been there in the past. That one way we can pay tribute to His Excellency the President is to use these resources effectively to make Kenyans even much more proud because of the turnaround time in investigations, because the song about sending samples to South Africa is coming to an end today, the song about a file has disappeared is coming to an end today. You have taken us to another level of our capacity in investigations that will go beyond the borders of this country. The announcement of the efficiency and effectiveness of the investigations will no doubt have a positive ripple effect throughout the justice sector. At the same time, President Kenyatta directed the National Police Service to introduce mandatory and continuous development programs on cyber security to all crime investigation officers. The official opening of this forensic laboratory now spells a new dimension for the security personnel in the country in how they will be handling crime in the country and beyond. Kamchemenza for Prime Edition at the DCI headquarters, Nairobi.